into, into the the rethrow there off ledge. Edge to kind of cover if Jen contested him oh, immediately yeah. was so smart. And now Ling, Peko, winners finals, and not like this. Ling has <laughs> almost a decade's worth of experience in this one. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to after coming from... I mean, Diddy Kong has never really been bad. Uh, he's been top tier, top tier, top tier in all three games. Yeah, but So, you know. <laughs> and not even that, just that, but, you know, for as long as Ling's been on the CTPR, right behind him has been Nelvin, and Ling showing that matchup mastery here with a dominant first stock, picking up right where he left off after closing out his last set. Just like checkmate scenarios, right? Like, we just saw a turnip to force it early double jump, awkward angle having to come out to avoid potential two frames as a mix-up of uh, Pekka's own. But Pekko, he likes to play fast, and sometimes you play a little loose when you play too fast, giving up the entire advantage state. Able to get it back, though, just in the nick of time. Pekko, in this game, but the very least, when you're dealing with Peach Ledge Trapping and when you're dealing with big buttons, it forces Diddy to play a much, much more disciplined game. And one of the things we're seeing here from Ling is kind of a much slower, much simpler game on the movement end than we, we normally see from him. We're seeing a lot less kind of micro spacings with flow, a lot, lot less little adjustments, and that's because he still doesn't have his controller back. He left it at LMBM, KBBQ, and still hasn't <laughs> got it back. And even though he's getting more used to the new controller, still kind of uh, still kind of catching him out, and you're seeing it in, in his movement here. And it could be a mix of that, and it also just it's how you play the Diddy matchup. Like, you, you keep things simple. Diddy wants to play a very simplified game state, but at the end of the day, his main punish in most of these opportunities is going to be something akin to Banana Toss or an Aerial out of Shield or, like, Up Smash or something. It's always going to be offensive. So if you play your cards right and you play your frame data right, like Peach has with advantages of float, and, float cancel aerials, you can provide a lot of pressure in ranges where Diddy doesn't want you to be and still be safe while doing it. This forces Pekko once more to guess. And guessing as Diddy Kong is not something you want to be doing consistently unless it's guesses like that where you're able to call out in a safe manner and convert it into a stock. Yeah, the fact that he was able to find that banana throw falling right like covering all the platform options and then still being below to cover the drop dude was so smart. The back throw though from Ling in, in gonna put Pekko off stage, but Pekko able to find the reversal here and these players just scrapping right now, tr Pekko trying to close this gap. Yeah, trying to, in court, ooh, you're gone. Yeah, he did a good job of like incorporating a couple monkey flip kicks. Or uh, early kicks, I mean, not like the ambiguous mix-up where it's like, oh, I'm going with a monkey flip, a late kick. Like, no, it's very much committing to the hitbox because Peach, one of the best things Peach has access to is float. One of the biggest weaknesses of float is that it prevents you from shielding consistently. So by just calling those out more prominently, you get more openings. And we... Uh, oof. <laughs> I, uh... I know how this works. Uh, what well... No, <laughs> we'll... we'll we're just gonna get right into the next game, so there's not really time for it. I just wanted to break down Pekko missing a fast fall earlier, or he missed a couple of those, and Ling was punishing him for them consistently, as well as Ling immediately pulling a stitch face. That's you, you know what you what you see from him That's on the mean. mic over and over, and it's what you sign up for. Like yeah. this is how Peach operates, where you have your X factor isn't necessarily like an individual button or confirm or something like that, though Peach has a stellar combo game, of course. It's the RNG factor and the item play that can really get out of hand very, very quickly. And even though FD can be really good for Diddy, it's a little surprising to see, see Peko take Ling here. Er, we, er, just this stage so can be so impressive for Peach to kind of just stay out of your range and find those turnip combos and just rack on so much percent as well as fade out of those bananas and whiff punish ling doing such a good job of that so far yeah i think the way that this uh this stage can operate is almost a extreme version of a lot of other stages where diddy kong his punish game is relatively maintained like mm -hmm. down to up there uh, down to up smash is going to work down to as your various combo starters uh grab grab follow-ups all of that good stuff but now you remove all impediments. And while Ling's combo game is going to be even better than it already was on uh, larger or uh, on different stages, that was never changing anyway. So why not make your neutral better and make Ling have to be even more committal and even more precise or else eat those? Yep. And one of the things Pekko, one of the adjustments Pekko's made this game right. with Banana that's been so successful is he started using Banana 
well, you know, gonna miss ledge, get caught by the by the golf ball. swing, F smash off stage, and this is the turnip combo. Oh, oh, gonna rack on 70 and off stage. This could be a very quick second stock, but Ling just dropping the edge guard. That was a wild, wildly amazing use of the dot eyes and able to convert just so much. And the turn up again, it, I, I mean, it goes with what I was saying earlier, Ritual, like you're able to see that like FD heightens Ling's strengths to an extreme degree, but Peko can still control stage and control all of this space and just maintain center control. Or sometimes you just get you get eaten alive. 64% yep. just like that, and another high recovery from Peko. Has gotten away with a couple of them, but it only takes one for Ling to call out as the percents get higher and higher. And both of these players, their adjustments this game have revolved around their item play. A hey, Peko True. has started using it to whiff punish at point blank or catch Ling's landings and kind of throw that banana under him intentionally, whereas Ling is content kind of playing more defensively, saying, okay, you're going to commit to banana here, I'm going to drift back, and I'm going to find a turn-up combo. And they're really focusing on each other's item usage and their own to kind of extend their own threat ranges even beyond what you would normally expect from them, and it's just really interesting kind of duel of item play here. Ooh, risky air dodge, but an amazing float usage from Ling. Intercepting the jump, but not able to get the barrels. But I completely agree here, Ritual. Like, we're seeing both these players, like, kind of revolve around, like, the follow-ups off of their item play and the variety that it comes with. Able to use each other's item. I mean, this is Peach with a banana. Matches her dress, and it may end up closing out the game. Not quite, though. And, man, center stage is just everything. Not only with the space to pull items, but the fact that you're forcing your way to it. FD is such a polarizing pick, despite it having no platforms, and, well, because of having no platforms, even. Like, there's always this ring, this literal ring, this nice big old circle here that just transforms the game. And everybody wants to hit the bullseye, but in trying to do it with a with a too much of a sense of gusto, we saw early in the game, uh, Ling ate a lot of like banana down airs, but like banana follow-ups into grabs and all of that stuff, able to get it out to a huge lead. But once Ling was able to start getting going, that's when he picked his combos, got them, got to 60, got to 70, and then just started playing the back air and center game. And Pekka was too too rushing with it. Yeah, and, and I mean, I don't even think Peko necessarily played that poorly on FD. No, not I at think all. he found exactly what he was looking for in those adjustments and being able to kind of have very predictable recoveries from Peach once Float comes out right and catch them with that banana. We saw him get so much mileage off that, but Ling was able to just kind of find a couple of reads, slow it down, and use his own benefits on that stage to get huge turn up combos, huge damage, and play himself back into that game. Aim, very good defensive adjustments from both players, but ultimately, it's Peach who's just a little bit more explosive, and a stage like FD rewards that to the extreme. Yeah, I mean, the the way that these characters operate, like, they're going to be playing a lot of neutral, and they're going to be playing around each other extremely well, but you have to transform that to your advantage. And while Diddy Kong's advantages are dominated in the sense of he's going to get more openings, a lot of the times those openings...